I honestly never thought I'd own a box like this. Like, ever. How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, huge retro gamer, nostalgic for things of my past, and this is one of those dream boxes that I'm gonna be unboxing in this video today. A little while back, during the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo, I visited my friend Bobby's warehouse. And it was cool to see all the sealed, you know, PlayStation games and Xbox games, but I was like, do you have any, like, just old school NES games? That's my passion. Like, do you just have, like, a box that's full of Nintendo games that's never been out of the box, they're all still sealed. Do you have anything like that? And he's like, let me see what I can find for you. And today in this video, I have exactly that. This is a case pack of NES games. I even told him too, I was like, I don't even care what the game is. I'm not expecting Lil Samson or Princess Tomato or anything like that. And I did buy this, in full disclosure, I did buy this. And, uh, but super happy to have this because it's one of those, I've never had one before. So I thought it would be pretty interesting. So this is literally a case pack of Nintendo games. They're all the same game, but it's never been opened before. And the games inside are still sealed, I'm sure. And I know you want to know what Nintendo game it is. And it's nothing, I mean, like I said, I said literally any Nintendo game. So long as it plays on the NES, I'm good. I'm down. It could have been NFL football. It could have been Silent Service. I actually like Silent Service. I mean, sure, it would have been cool to have something like a Time Lord or maybe even an Air Fortress or something like that, something I'm really nostalgic for. But this game is Impossible Mission 2. Literally any NES game. And hey, you know what? I'm super happy to have this. <laughs> so let's open it up and see what it looks like. And again, thank you, Bobby. I got a link to his uh, Instagram below if you want to reach out to him for any reason. Maybe you're looking for something. Who knows? He has some connections. All right, I want to be super careful opening this box not to slice anything on the inside. I do need, I mean, I have old school box cutter. I do need a new, I need to get like a custom, like a, like a custom box cutter or something. Away from you. There we go. And speaking of the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo, I'm slated for about one convention a month for the end of the year. And then I'll be in Columbus, Ohio for the first time for Korgs in Columbus, Ohio on May 14th. Looking forward to that show. Southeast Game Exchange in July, that's always a great one. Let's see, Game On Expo in the first weekend of August. They just announced Mo Game Con at the end of July, no confirmation I'll be there yet. They just announced the Portland Retro Gaming Expo in October, no confirmation I'll be there yet. I am gonna be at Really Rad Weekend, formerly known as Emerald Coast Con, in Destin, Florida, on the Florida Panhandle. That's coming up in November. And Sat Gamers Expo in December, that's always a fun time too. That's in Sacramento. Let me take the camera down so you can see what I'm opening up here. And then while we open up the box, we're also gonna open up one of the games just to see what it looks like on the inside. Very cool case pack of Impossible Mission 2. It is an actual NES game. <laughs> I promise it's real, I've played it before. Um, not, maybe not the most sought after game ever, but super happy that I have an official case pack of them. That just looks so cool. And they're all sealed, of course they're sealed. This is the first time this box has ever been opened. This is the first time they've ever seen any type of light, artificial light or anything, since they were first popped in this box back in, well, who knows, whenever this came and came out. Have a look at the box there. Here's the box art. <laughs> Impossible Mission 2. Exclusively distributed. And never mind where it's exclusively distributed. I know where I got it. And this is the SEI Seal of Quality. The SEI Seal of Quality is that American flag right there. SEI. Here's this part here. And I've noticed a lot of these games have, it's, they're kind of sunk in. I mean, yeah, it's sealed, but there's like a bit of a, kind of caves in a little bit right there. By all means, we're going to pop these back in the box. And if you're looking, like, and I have these, I mean, I might bring these to conventions. I might, you know, you might see these on whatnot as well. So if you need one for yourself, you know, just it's like, oh, I want one of those sealed. Well, I could probably help you out. Trust me, I don't need all of them. I'm not planning on just hoarding them. I just wanted to get one so I can open up the box. I guess we should actually look at one of them. So we're going to open up the box and see what it looks like on the inside. Okay. Got to do this carefully here. Where's a good spot? I mean, this part sticks up a little bit there. That's usually my kind of my go-to. Just kind of want to get it started. Then I can handle the rest. Cutter just kind of retracts it a little bit. <laughs> Unless it locked into place, I guess. Okay, put that out of the way. Here we go. So when you purchase this game, however you purchase this game back in the day, so I don't remember. I don't remember seeing this ever at like a KB Toys and Hobby or Montgomery Ward or wherever you bought your Nintendo games. <laughs> we didn't have a Toys R Us in my town until I was like 19 years old. Here it is, and again, has a kind of caved-in box look, but that's okay. Uh, can I do it without bending? 
Looks like I got it. Oh man, I love it already. And the styrofoam is on top. Yeah, the styrofoam is on top. Watch it just be a brick of styrofoam inside the box. <laughs> Interesting. So they put this in upside down. And no dust sleeve. But here's the game. Impossible Mission 2. Very neat. We'll, even, we'll, we'll pop this in and play it for a little bit, just so you can see what the game looks like, too, if you're curious. It has a hilarious scream sound at the end. And then full color, if that color is blue. <laughs> There's the manual. Good lord. Look at the tiny print there. It's a whole lot of words for don't die. All right, well, let me pop this back in the box the correct way. Very cool. All right, let's let's um, let's check it out. I mean, to the point where I'm not even going to bother capturing footage properly. <laughs> I'll just kind of aim it right at the screen. And there you go. Yeah, I'm using the Super Retro Trio 3 Plus here um, on my Winamax monitor. And here's Impossible Mission 2. And uh, yeah, the game plays like this. It's a runner. Got your little map down there. You can take the elevator if you'd like. Go for it. That took longer than it needed to. And you don't have an attack button or anything, you just jump. And that's what it sounds like when you die. Where am I? It's my way down there. Sure. Okay. Can I do more? Turn on the lights. And that, sure. Maybe I should actually read the instruction manual. Oh no. Ah, oh, barely made it. Barely made it. And here's what happens when you die. Ready? Listen to this. So much of the game's information probably comes from that scream. 